and this is Reading Represents. Thanks for joining us today. Let's get started with a little bit of a song. Do you want to sing it with me? If you don't know the words, that's okay. I'll teach you some hand motions, okay? So we're going to do our hands together and open them up to make a book. Did you know this is the sign for book in American Sign Language? Great, so we can do a book with our hands. And we can do the sign for sing, which goes like this, since we're gonna be singing our song. And we can do the sign for play, which goes like this. It's a little bit hard to do to hold those fingers down and shake them out for the American Sign Language sign for the word play, but we can do it together, okay? Are you ready? Our song goes like this. We're going to read today, we're going to read today. Everybody shout hooray! We're going to read today. And then we're gonna sing next. We're going to sing today, we're going to sing today. Everybody shout hooray! We're going to sing today. And then we're gonna play. We're going to play today, we're going to play today. Everybody shout hooray, we're going to play today. Thanks for singing. Let's see what we're gonna talk about today on Reading Represents. A New Home by Tanya DeRigio, published by Candlewick Press. Two kids who move to new cities Think about what they miss from their old home and discover new things they love about their new home. Mom and Dad told me that we are moving to Mexico City. Mama and Papa told me that we are moving to New York City. But I'm not sure I want to leave my home because I'm going to miss lots of things. like listening to my favorite song on my way to school in the morning and getting something delicious to eat on my way home in the afternoon. Cheering loudly for our team to win at the stadium. And spending nights out watching the dancers at the concert hall. But what if there is nowhere for me to play in my new city? Or no places for my class to explore our past? I know my home can be hard on some people. And sometimes it can be very noisy. but I'll miss all the fun we have around the city in the summer. And I'll also miss playing with my friends. I hope my life won't be so different in my new city. I really hope I like my new home. Look at all of the things that both children enjoy doing in their home city, and now they will have a new opportunity to make plans and find new discoveries in the city they're moving to. The end. I have a little mouse friend. Do you see him? Oh, wait, no. I think he's hiding behind one of our colorful houses. Should we look behind each house together and see if we can find my mouse friend? Let's do it. All right, we're going to start with this house up here. What color is that? It's red. That's right. And house rhymes with mouse, so we'll say, little mouse, little mouse, are you hiding behind the red house? And let's take a peek. Uh-oh, no mouse behind the red house. Let's try the next one. What color is this house? It's yellow, isn't it? Little mouse, little mouse, are you hiding behind the yellow house? Let's take a peek. No mouse. Uh-oh, 
We'll have to try the next one. What color is it? It's orange. Little mouse, little mouse, are you hiding behind the orange house? Let's peek. Oh no, no mouse under the orange house either. And now we only have two houses left. So let's check this one. What color is it? It's blue. Little mouse, little mouse, are you hiding behind the blue house? Let's peek. <gasps> no, no mouse behind that house either. We only have one left. What color is it? Purple, it is a purple house. Little mouse, little mouse, are you hiding under the purple house? There's my friend the mouse. He was hiding under the purple house the whole time. Silly mouse. At least you helped us learn our colors. Thank you so much for joining us today on Reading Represents. Let's sing a little song to say goodbye. Until next time. Oh, it's time to say goodbye for today. Oh, it's time to say goodbye for today. Can you wave your hand like this? Can you blow a little kiss? Mwah! Oh, it's time to say goodbye for today. See you next time.